For most of us, there comes a time when we're a few tough turns or a couple of choices away from needing a helping hand. In parts of North Carolina, one in six individuals isn't sure where their next meal will come from. For the staff at Farm Cafe, hometown hunger meant an opportunity to feed empty bellies, as well as educate eager minds. This is called creaming the butter and the sugar. It's a creaming method, so you're going to pull this back. Okay. And then just kind of use this scoop. Okay. Scoop the sugar into there. It's not always the, you know, I can just a little off. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're just going to get it all in there. If you were a food, would you be a sweet? I would be the sweetest thing <laughs> ever. I like to think I would be too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Every day you're teaching Every day. new people. Every day. And it's a lot like this. It's yeah. exactly what we're doing now. It's exactly the same process. And sometimes hmm. you have to be more married to community. It's all important. I don't, I don't want you to mistake that we don't have standards, but I might ask somebody to dice something. Say, do you know how to dice? Have you? Yes. And I walk away and I come back and I'm like, okay, so we're going to do something else with that. Because that's, <laughs> that's not a dice. dice. That's what we call a, a scary shred. So <laughs> it was going to be this, now it's going to be soup. And yeah. that's fine. Huh. So we do that a lot. So let's scrape this down. OK. You might want to lower this a little bit. Just All push right. it. There you go. So you can kind of scrape around. OK. Then we'll add the eggs. All right, so Let crack nothing... an egg in there. All right. This isn't the only place. No. Cafe like this, right? No, there is a network called One World Everybody Eats, and right now there's about anywhere from 40 to 60 of these types of cafes. We have a cafe like this in Tennessee, One Acre Cafe, okay. which we helped mentor. Same cafe uh, in Denver, Colorado helped mentor us. There's one that just opened last year in Raleigh called A Place at the Table. Yeah. And we helped mentor them a little bit. So that, the yeah. extended community. It's amazing. And they're all different. Like some of them do full service sit down. Some mm. of them do buffet. Some of them just do pizza and soup. Depends on what their needs are. 20% of the people in, that are coming right. here are in need, right? And the other right. 80% are just people wanting some great food. Exactly. Is that right? I mean, that's, that's right. It's I going. mean, we're getting handmade, oh, yeah. local, fresh, and it's going yeah. to the community, the greater good, you it know, is. where it's more, what we are saying, it's more than food. It feeds something in me that I need as much as everybody that comes in that door. So I don't really like the term give back so much because I, I just feel like we're in it together. It's not like I have something that I'm giving to you. We're doing it. There's reciprocity happening all the time. Yes. So I'm meeting people that I would never have met because of the circumstances of how I was working who've made my life so much richer. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. I, so what's I love the word it. then? If it's not give back, what is it? Because that's... Uh... Share. I think we're all practicing being human. It's not easy. Being human's not easy. So I think this is a place where you get to practice being human. You know, if you mess up, then we're all here together. And food's the same way. People get so nervous when they're making something. I'm like, yeah. it's not brain surgery. Yeah. It's OK. It's chocolate chip It's OK. Cookies. We're not taking something out of his heart. We're yeah. gonna <laughs> putting something in. I oh. love it. Oh, we are. We are. Yeah, so. These uh, cookies get to meet their full potential. There you this go. is it. They're meeting their full potential right here. Ready to roll. Yeah. The folks at Farm Cafe feed their customers more than just the menu items they create each day. They feed their hearts and minds as well. Because rich or poor, we've all got to eat. So if you find yourself with the opportunity to visit this pay-what-you-can establishment, I encourage you to enjoy more than just the food. And also, to pay it forward however you can afford to.